Hi, Lisa. What did you bring for us today? There has been a lot of talk recently about the DeepSeek AI model. Let me show you how to host the model with Cloud Run GPUs in three simple steps. Welcome back to the show, Lisa.、Uh, please remind viewers what you do here at Google. I am a product manager at Google Cloud, focusing on container runtimes like Cloud Run and Google Kubernetes engine. And we're going to use Cloud Run today, right? That's right. Cloud Run is a very flexible platform, but it's also easy to use. You can write the code, use your favorite language, framework, and libraries, package it up as a container, run gCloud Run deploy, and your app will be live in the cloud. And that container can include a large language model. Yes, it can. If you have enabled Cloud Run GPUs in your project, that sounds great. Let's do it. All right. Here, I have started a new session in Cloud Shell. And Cloud Shell is part of your Google Cloud project, right? Yeah. Cloud Shell is an interactive shell environment that lets you experiment with Google Cloud and manage your projects from your web browser. Yeah, I use Cloud Shell all the time. Very good. First, let me install the Olama command line tool. And what does that tool do? Olama makes it easy to download and run large language models. We use it to run DeepSeq model, but it can also load and run many other models as well. Next, I will deploy the Olama container as a new Cloud Run service in my project. This container can load large language models from the internet on demand. We'll do that later. And I see GPU one in that command. Yeah, that's right. We're telling Cloud Run to use one GPU for each instance of this new service. The GPU is needed to run the DeepSeq model or any other large language models. And this will take a minute. Lisa, you know what that means. Tea break. Yep. The deployment is finished. Here is the URL that triggers our new Cloud Run service, and you will call that URL、uh, to try out DeepSeq. Yeah, I'm going to call it from the Olama command line tool that I installed earlier. First, I will set Olama host environment variable. It will point to the URL for my new service. Next, I'm going to run this Olama tool. I will use it to tell my Cloud Run service to download the DeepSeq model from the internet. So this、uh, five gigabyte model is now being installed in your Cloud Run service、uh, in the cloud. Yeah, that's right. My command told the Olama container in my Cloud Run service to load the DeepSeq model, and my Cloud Run service is now using that model with the GPU. Very good. How do we test it? Yeah, the Olama CLI tool started an interactive session. Let me enter the hello world of AI. I will ask why the sky is blue. <laughs> yeah,、uh, we used that question in a few other episodes on the show. Yeah, and here is the answer. We are now using the DeepSeq model in the cloud run. It only took three commands to get it up and running. How simple is that, Martin? That is very impressive.、Uh, but Lisa, I have so many questions. Sure, go ahead. If I don't want to host my own model. Uh, I don't want to deal with all that. Could I just call Google's Vertex API for my Cloud Run service? Yes, you can. It's easy. You just make an API call using the Vertex client library, and you don't have to worry about GPUs, Olama, or anything else. Google engineers make sure that everything is running well in the backend. But if you want more control and flexibility, you can run the open model like DeepSeq or Jamma. Or a customized model built by yourself in the cloud run. And let's say I've built an expense reporting application that uses an LLM to automatically categorize expenses.、Uh, my users wouldn't use a command line tool like you just did, right? Yeah, that's right. Your user would see a nice web user interface instead, and that user interface would come from a cloud run service that runs your expense reporting application. If the application needs help from a large language model, it would call another Cloud Run service that hosts the model. 
Oh, right. Uh, Vitz and I used that architecture in another episode. I will link to that video from the description below. Yeah, by separating your application and the large language model, they can scale up and down independently. You can also tweak the CPU and the memory differently. That makes sense. So speaking of scaling, Lisa, uh, let's say there is a traffic spike for my expense reporting application every Monday morning uh, when workers come back after the weekend. How would this architecture handle that traffic spike? Calrun would automatically spin up more instances as needed. And when there is no traffic on the weekend, Martin, the service would be scaled down to zero. And that way you wouldn't have to pay for idle GPUs or CPUs. I like that. Now, in your demo, the DeepSeq model was loaded when you ran Olama run, uh, the Olama run command. Uh, would that slow things down for users? When you are running a production application, you have choices. You could load the model from the public internet on demand, like I did. Once the model has been loaded, it stays in memory. Another option would be for you to download it to Google Cloud Storage and then let your container load it from there. Or you could include a model in the container image that you deploy to Cloud Run. Each of these methods has its pros and cons. And we actually created a doc page that helps you to choose. Nice. I will link to that doc page from the description below. All right, Lisa. It seems Cloud Run is a good place to run AI applications. Yes, it is. GPUs on Cloud Run are fully managed with no extra drivers or libraries needed. And you can use GPUs on demand without having to reserve them ahead of time. We are shooting this video. Cloud Run GPUs are in public preview. And to use them, you need to first request them to be enabled in your project. I will include the link for doing that in the description below. And as soon as we're done here, I will request that for my project. Uh, thank you for joining me today, Lisa. Thanks for having me, Martin. And thank you, everyone, for watching. If you have any questions for Lisa or me about GPUs in Cloud Run, please let us know in the comments. Also, do let me know if this episode was helpful to you. I read every single comment. Until next time.